A parent's love for a child reflects our Father's love for us. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Amy Boucher Pye. A friend's baby was suffering seizures, so they sped to the hospital in an ambulance, her heart racing as she prayed for her daughter. Her fierce love for this child hit her afresh as she held her tiny fingers, recalling to how much more the Lord loves us and how we are the apple of his eye. The prophet Zechariah employs this phrase in his word to God's people, who would return to Jerusalem after their captivity in Babylon. He calls them to repent, to rebuild the temple, and to renew their hearts of love for the true God. For the Lord loves his people greatly. They are the apple of his eye. Hebrew scholars suggest this phrase from Zechariah 2 denotes one's reflection in the pupil of another's eye, with the word apple emerging because it's a common spherical object. So with eyes being precious and fragile, they need protecting, and that's how the Lord wants to love and protect His people, by holding them close to His heart. The Lord who dwells in our midst pours out His love on us, even amazingly far more than a loving mother who does all she can for her ailing child. We are the apple of his eye, his beloved. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is Zechariah chapter 2. Then I looked up, and there before me was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, Where are you going? He answered me, To measure Jerusalem, to find out how wide and how long it is. While the angel who was speaking to me was leaving, another angel came to meet him and said to him, Run, tell that young man, Jerusalem will be a city without walls because of the great number of people and animals in it, and I myself will be a wall of fire around it, declares the Lord, and I will be its glory within. Come, come, flee from the land of the north, declares the Lord, for I have scattered you to the four winds of heaven, declares the Lord. Come, Zion, escape, you who live in daughter Babylon, for this is what the Lord Almighty says. After the Glorious One has sent me against the nations that have plundered you, for whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye, I will surely raise my hand against them so that their slaves will plunder them. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me. Shout and be glad, daughter Zion, for I am coming and I will live among you, declares the Lord. Many nations will be joined with the Lord in that day and will become my people. I will live among you, and you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. The Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Zechariah chapter 2 is today's scripture reading. And now let's pray together. Father God, You love us so much that you gave us your only Son to die that we might live. May we receive your love this day and live in it. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 